I've been in Florida for a little while now and tonight is the first night that I actually have a hot date and I picked a very beautiful twisty road to go meet my hot date. So let's hop on the bike and go see who we're meeting. <laughs> I've just been out exploring. I have no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I've been going and checking out nature preserves, walking around, just being outside and having a great time. So I just Googled my destination to where we're meeting up tonight. And um, I, I don't know that this route that I'm taking is not technically the fastest way, but it had way more twisties. And I was like, yes, girl. I love a good curvy road. Not not windy, curvy sweepers. Those are my favorite. Something that you guys have been picking up on in these videos, which is like beyond humbling and makes me feel like I'm doing a good job resonating my emotions to you. Uh, first of all, if you're new here, my name is Jess. I am a full-time YouTuber. I ride motorcycles for a living, but I live in Ohio full-time. And uh, if you're from the Midwest or the North right now, you know that there is no riding right now. It's uh, very, very snowy, rainy, and disgusting. It's freezing cold and seasonal depression got me. It got me. I was done. So I had to get the hell out of Dodge and uh, I rented an Airbnb for the entire month of January. I kind of explained all of that in this video right here. Whee! <laughs> so you guys know like you you've known me for years first of all if you are new here uh, if this is the very first video you've watched please do not subscribe on one video i would very much prefer that you go watch a few kind of get a feel for what you're going to get as a subscriber and then consider subscribing i genuinely only want you guys here if you want to be here okay i'm not forcing anybody please don't subscribe if you don't want to but if you want to it's free and it would be awesome i'd love to have you we're best friends now I've been in Florida for a while, been making videos for a while, and I've had a lot of comments, a lot of people telling me personally, <laughs> I'm just, I've come to life, man. You are like, you're telling me that I'm glowing and blah, blah, blah. And like you, that could be like hilarious. And I'm not saying it to be facetious, but maybe it's true. I don't know. It's damn bright out right now. Maybe I am glowing. <laughs> it's just all the sweat. <laughs> No, honestly, Florida has been absolutely gorgeous. It's cold right now. It's about 60 degrees. And when you're doing, you know, 60 miles an hour, they get chilly. Get we bit nippy out here. So I just want to say, like, dude, thank you guys for, I don't know, caring? Is that the word I'm looking for? Just being empathetic to it. You know, like, you have to be empaths. You have to be able to feel what someone else is feeling. And I, I don't know if that means I'm an empath, too, because I'm constantly, you know, putting down and you're picking it up and that's exactly how you're getting the vibe but i don't know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna question it i just i feel like i'm among friends right now you know with you talking about our our wants and our dreams and our happiness and riding motorcycles into the sunset on twisty roads behind very large vans living the dream baby the area of Florida that I'm staying in is just a beautiful, beautiful. I would be lying to you if I said that I have not been looking on uh, Zillow. Which is window shopping. Like, uh, your girl ain't got $500,000 to buy a freaking trailer. God, Florida's so expensive, man. Every time I say Florida is expensive, people are like, but we don't have state tax. And I'm like, that doesn't mean I don't have money. Ah, it's bright. So my date tonight asked me where I wanted to go and I am a sucker for anything on the water, absolutely anything on the water. And I can tell you this right now because one time my husband and I went to Epcot. <laughs> I'll insert photos here. Don't judge me. I was a lot skinnier back then, okay? I don't ever remember being that skinny, but I was. We went to Epcot and had lunch in uh, Japan and we sat next to the koi pond and it was lovely. And I swear to you, I sat there for three hours just drinking Epcot overpriced beer and watching the koi pond in the little waterfall. And I just, it was the, one of the most perfect memories of my entire life. So if there is water nearby, I want to go. I want to sit, whoa. Oh, I know you guys can't see it on camera because of GoPro issues, but that's a plane. And it's one of those like water landing planes, like with the skis. Is that what they're called? Sleds? Skis? 
Wow, I've never seen one in real life, huh? I should probably pay attention to the road with all these construction signs everywhere. So I'm heading over to a tiki bar. Wow, squirrel, that I completely lost my train of thought because I saw a plane. So I found a tiki bar and I just want to go. I want to go see. I The past couple times I've gone to like waterfront uh, bars and restaurants in this area, I've seen gators. I'm so, okay. All right, this is going to be kind of funny. Um, I was so my friends down here obviously I have friends and my friend Anna Captain Anna as you might know her was texting me today and she's like hey what are you doing and I at the moment that she texted me I was literally googling where I wanted to go ride oh, that's a lot of sand and so I sent her a photo of my computer with all of like the options brought up on uh, on the screen and then she immediately sends me back another picture, like a screenshot of my photo, completely 100% zoomed in. And she was reading what I had typed into the search bar. <laughs> I, was <laughs> I totally outed myself. I didn't clear my search bar and I was searching for quote unquote, where can I find alligators near me? <laughs> So I immediately called her and had to explain. I was like, I just want to go see some more gators. And she, oh my God, we were crying laughing. I was like, damn bro, why'd you have to out me like that? <laughs> I decided for my date tonight that I wanted to go somewhere waterfront because maybe I'll see a gator. Maybe I won't, maybe I will. It's in God's hands. But I just, oh my God, that was so funny when she like screenshot my search engine. <laughs> I don't need to laugh that hard again, but seriously, that was hilarious. The thing that's been like kind of sketchy around some of these twisty roads and stuff around here is God, the amount of sand everywhere. There's so much sand. Um, so hugging these corners and taking these corners at a quicker pace is not, uh, not ideal. I guess it's just something you get used to down here in Florida. For the most part, the roads aren't bad because like cars blow the sand off the road and whatnot. But um, yeah, some of these corners I've been like, whoa, 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 okay, slow down. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. The greenery, the trees, the countryside. Again, I don't want to live here full time. Summertime, you can GTFO. I don't want to be here. I want to be in Ohio where it's almost equally as hot and miserable, just not all the time. Look at the random chilly day in Ohio. I don't know what's worse, the dead tree disco or just the tree disco. If you guys don't remember, the OGs will remember, but that's a wicked, wicked throwback to uh, old school her two wheels, like straight moto vlog her two wheels. You barely saw my face her two wheels, but I'm very light sensitive. I'm like a giant crybaby about it. Um, I'm a vampire dude. Like I genuinely don't like having the sun in my eyes. But anyway, um, back when I used to ride in the winter time in Ohio, we would be riding through all of the dead trees, you know, without the leaves. Then they're, they're not actually dead. They're just in hibernation mode. And the sun would just be like, you know, like just flapping in through the, the naked trees. And I would call it the dead tree disco because you're just like, you know, with the light in the trees and you're moving and yeah, cool story, Jess. Oh, it is very, very, very bright and a little hot. Uh, my retinas, I know I have this, but it really, oh, it does kind of help. Oh, there's a poppers. Shoot, man, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The heated grips on this damn bike are intense. It, it seems illegal how hot these things can get. And I only have them like a medium, halfway. <laughs> Don't flip it, okay? We're good. Gravy. Oh shit, I need to get over. in danger so it's so funny i've talked to you guys about how lawless florida is when it comes to just <laughs> driving 
in general. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to go back to Ohio and like actually do the speed limit again. It's just down here. I don't do it because I need to go fast. I genuinely don't care how fast I go. Are you okay? Why are you go? You're turning so slow. I'm concerned. Is it your shoulders? Because like, I get it. I get that. I have bad shoulders too. But anyway, um, I don't need to go fast. I genuinely don't. I actually prefer going kind of slow, you know, like 70 and under 80 and under because then you don't get so much crazy wind noise. But in Florida, if you God, I can't see <laughs> in Florida, if you go anything less than 95, like people are like the police officers are running your ass off the road. Like you're in the way you are a hazard. Um, so I've just been like speeding everywhere and unfortunately you just kind of get accustomed to it. And so I'm like, how the hell am I going to go back to Ohio and do like 55 miles an hour? <laughs> the, the very first time I get a ticket, that's how it's going to whip my ass into shape when I get back home. That's for damn sure. Sometimes, sometimes it truly amazes me how much I talk. I know I got a lot of y'all uh, older gentlemen who are just flabbergasted, absolutely amazed, dumbfounded, bamboozled at how much I talk. And uh, I got one thing to say. Why the fuck do you think I started a motovlog channel? Because I can't shut up. Like the commentary in my head is nonstop. So I record it and post it on YouTube and people watch it and uh, YouTube pays me. <laughs> it's like, what do you want from me? It's the coolest thing in the world. Got my cake and eat it too. That's why I got chubby, man. Woo, it's so bright. It's so hot. It's so bright. I just want to go to my date and not like, like a sweaty hot pig. Swe sweaty hot pig, hot sweaty pig. I don't know, I've seen some sexy pigs. So that right there straight ahead, I don't know if you can see that. I think that's called the Citrus Tower. Um, I genuinely have no idea what it is, but I'm gonna go check it out tomorrow. So I might have a video on that in the future, but I've been seeing it nonstop and it's so cool. Cause I guess where I am currently, this used to be all citrus fields. Like, I don't know. So I'm being from Ohio, man, we grow corn. I think like some soybeans, you know, nothing really exciting up there. There's nothing that we're really known for. Um, buckeyes, those are poisonous, don't eat a buckeye, but so when I think of having like a tropical fruit that is grown right here in the country that I have total access to, <laughs> I don't need a passport to travel my own country, it just blows my mind sometimes. I'm like, oh yeah, I forget that America is huge, huge. Damn, yo, the, wow, that, how, you gotta have an arm on you to throw shoes up that high. Holy crap. I was like 50 feet in the air. Hey man, um, I wanna address this in this video before I go to my hot date, cause I'm thinking about it right now. I've actually been getting some emails and messages from people that are like, why don't you use your GPS navigation on your motorcycle? And that goes for my Harley and my BMW. So this isn't just about the BMW. Um, first of all, on my Harley Davidson, yes, it has navigation, uh, but it's older. It's not like the Apple CarPlay or anything. So it's strictly navigation based off of satellites. And if you know anything about that, you know that those are not always up to date. And when you get yourself into some sticky situations or road hazards or just general trying to pay attention to what's going on in your travels, uh, the navigation is useless to me personally. So I always use my cell phone. I'm always using apps that will alert me when there are speed traps. I'll use apps that alert me when there are hazards in the road, cars pulled off to the side of the road. It just helps me be 10 times more aware, way more than any navigation can do. And I don't use it on the BMW because I just, I genuinely don't know how. You have to have the app and it, it runs, I don't, I don't even know how it's powered, but it's, it's not very intuitive. This this whole system here isn't very intuitive. So I just don't use it very often. But if you guys are interested, I use the Rockform mount for my phone and you can get access to 25% off of that in every single YouTube video because I have links with discount codes in these videos. So if you're ever wondering what I use, just check the description first, honestly. It's always there. And if it's not, that's when you comment and ask me. Well, instead of complaining about not being able to see anything, Let's just go ahead and go see who my hot date is. 
Oh my goodness, look at that happy boy. <laughs> so happy. Unfortunately, my date isn't here yet, but I don't think I'm gonna have any issue hearing them when they roll up to check out where we're meeting. the closest I have ever sat to uh, water. I really hope there's no gators. I think I hear my date rolling up now. showed up and it's captain anna <laughs> <laughs> so she invited me to have a drink tonight and believe it or not you guys i know i've been talking about i'm looking i'm not even looking at the camera i switched hands i know i've been talking about how beautiful the weather's been but it's actually very chilly tonight so we just had the lady come turn on the fire because it's uh with that sun setting man it, the temperature drops super super fast so if you saw, Anna rode in on her adorable Grom, <laughs> and I could still hear her coming from down the street. <laughs> you could just hear like a <laughs> <laughs> So like I said, this is the hottest date I've had the entire time that I've been in Florida, and yeah! we're gonna continue. I don't think I've had you in any of my videos. Oh yeah, just the one where we uh, met up for coffee that one day. Literally for like a split second. Yeah. So I've seen Anna probably five or six times, been to her house, hung out with the dogs, and just never thought to whip out the camera because we're busy. Just, just having a good Have, time. Like being genuine <laughs> friends. It's not just for the internet, okay? So I'm going to enjoy the rest of this beautiful evening with one of my very good friends. And until my next video, you guys be good, and I'll see you later. <laughs>